Do you know when it's time to switch out your RV tires to maintain safety going down the road? Is the Michelin Advantage discount really a discount or is it a total play on numbers? We'll answer these questions and many more, so stay tuned. Roll intro. Tire safety should be on the forefront of your mind every time you start an RV trip. You don't want to be driving down the interstate and have a tire blowout. So to protect yourself and your family, know when it's time to change out your tires. That's really true. And an RV tire will usually age out before it wears out. True. And Ruby's tires had over 51,000 miles on them. Yeah, and although they had good tread wear on them, they started to have a little deformity in some of the patterns. So that's when we thought, eh, they're almost six years old, let's change them out. In case you're wondering, I do have my notes here because we want to make sure we don't leave anything out. This is an important topic that everyone should take note of. Yeah. Now, in addition to any visual changes you may find with your tires, any changes in performance should be noted because those changes could mean it's time to change your tires. And I'm talking about things such as an increase in air loss of about 2 psi per month, noise, vibration, anything that indicates the tires are changing their wear pattern or anything like that, all those are indications that you need to switch out your tires. Yeah, so it's, it's paramount to get out and visually inspect your tires as well, other than, you know, relying on a TPMS. You got to look at those tires. And if you're not sure what you're looking for, you can always have a tire professional check them for you. Yeah, that's a good point. Now, recently we had some friends of ours, Tammy and Eric from Techno RV. They had a blowout when they were flying down the road. So if you want to see what happened and their lessons learned, we'll link their video down below. Yeah, I don't think he was flying. I think he was about doing about 65. That's flying when you have a tire <laughs> blowout in a 40-foot motorhome. That's fast. 25 is flying to me if you have a blowout. <laughs> the million dollar question is, when should you change out your RV tires? Well, according to a lot of social media platforms and forums, it varies from five years, 10 years, seven years. There's no real strict answer on that. However, Michelin does have their take on when you should change your tires. And we think instead of going by social media standards, which yeah. is anywhere from two to 10 years, we should actually listen to the manufacturer. Yeah, they, so, they've done this before. So we did a little research for you and we will include links to everything we talk about for Michelin down below. So you can look at the resources yourself. And according to Michelin, the tires composed of over 200 different components. And these components will all wear differently depending on your specific tire and certain conditions like environment, inflation pressure, are you overloading your tires, and of course um, the climate and humidity. So how you take care of your tire specifically will impact the life of your tire. Yeah, the, the load, like Stacy said, definitely impacts it, and the speed at which you drive your mm -hmm. RV definitely will impact your tire wear. So if it says don't go over 75 miles an hour, don't go over 75 miles an hour or your tire will definitely wear out sooner than later. Yeah, remember, we're supposed to be going slow in this lifestyle, so slow it down. <laughs> now, because of all of these reasons that can affect your tires, Michelin recommends regular tire inspections from a professional and also inflation pressure maintenance by somebody qualified to do that. It only took me six times to say <laughs> that. <laughs> so what she's saying is any of these truck stops that you see, major truck stops along the interstate, loves, Flying J, TA, they have tire specialists there. And if you have a question about your tire while you're fueling up, zip in, ask them if they have time to take a peek and point you in the right direction. Yeah, and make sure your tires are properly inflated for your specific tire and for the weight that you're carrying in your RV. Now, according to Michelin, once your tires hit their fifth birthday, you should have them inspected at least once a year because it is impossible to predict, predict exactly when your tires are gonna need to be replaced. However, just remember the older your tire, the more risk you take of something happening. We decided to stay with Michelin tires because that's what came with Ruby. I wanted to stay in the Michelin family. We wanted to use the Michelin Advantage discount plan and we found that through Togo RV Plus, which we were already reviewing their program for the channel. We like to review different RV memberships so that way you guys can make an educated decision before giving these memberships your hard earned cash. And Togo RV Plus is an excellent membership for RVers. Once you sign up for the membership, you'll have access to Road Trippers Plus, R Village Gold, and overnight parking. Some of their more popular features include member discounts and RV Safe GPS. 
I really love the quirky locations that they provide for you. If you've watched our channel long enough, you'll know that we love roadside attractions and they have a whole database full of these really cool places to stop along your travels. Plus we're quirky. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> There's also a free version of the Togo RV app, and they do have a ton of features in there and some education in there, but most of the bang for your buck is going to be with their Plus, which is their membership side. And we have partnered with them for you guys, so we actually have a $10 discount code. 10 bucks. So if you decide to join their membership plan, you can save 10 bucks for the year. Everybody always asks, what do I have to do to get the discount for Michelin? Or we're going to show you step-by-step what we did in order to get our so-called discount from Michelin. <laughs> Step one is to download the Togo RV app, which is available via iOS and Android. Now, anybody can use the free version, but if you want to take advantage of the Michelin Advantage tire discount, that's a mouthful, you'll have to sign up for the Togo RV Plus membership. Once the app is downloaded, you'll want to go ahead and open the app, wait for it to load. You'll want to scroll down, scroll down until you find the find tires for your RV button, hit that. Next hit find tires. And then here's where you're going to put your specific RV tire size in there. For this example, you'll see our tire size, 275, 80, 22.5. Once you have your, your tire info in there, go ahead and hit find tires. Now two different tire brands will pop up, BF Goodrich and Michelin. And on the surface, you can see that there's 23 different sizes of Michelin and nine for BF Goodrich. We're going with Michelin. So hit the Michelin button, scroll down till you find the right tire for you. Ours are going to be the 275-80R 22.5 XZE Load Range H for $517. So you'll see the base price and what the discounted price would be. In this case, $72.15 per tire. Now you're going to hit redeem discount. Here you're going to see Togo RV's discount code and the Michelin Advantage account number. This page is going to give you some information on how you're to go about um, redeeming this discount. Once you're good with that, then hit the find dealer button. And here you can put in where you're, where you're going to be if you plan to get them in a couple weeks, or it'll pull up your exact location where you're sitting now. For us, it's San Antonio and it's showing two different dealers that are under the Michelin contract. So I'm going to select one of those. And then it gives you the information on the tire shop itself, which will allow you to call them and make an appointment. Once you set up your appointment, then all you have to do is drive to them, get the tires put on. Five fifteen twenty ones, which is the fifteenth week of twenty twenty one. We have one on the fourteenth week of twenty twenty one. So it's just a week sooner. Not bad. Come on now, let's work. Come on now. Come on now, let's work. Check it out. Come on now. Come on now, let's work. Come on now. Come on now, let's work. Stacks, buy me up, and I won't stop, won't stop to the top. So hot. You'll notice before they installed the tires that I went through and, and checked their born on date, which was 1521 for five of the six tires. The other one was 1421, which is not bad. You want to check your tires to make sure that they're in the same grouping or the same date. Because if those tires had come out and said 1418, I would have told them to take them back because that would have been the 14th week of 2018 and we're in year 2021. So there's no telling 
where those tires were, how long they've sat in or on the shelf in a climate controlled room and not climate controlled room. A lot of things can happen. So you want to get them pretty much the same year that you're going to buy them and then just make sure that all the weeks match. To determine your tire's birth date, find the DOT stamp on your tire, which stands for Department of Transportation. And then there's going to be a series of letters and numbers. Go to the last one. It'll be a four-digit number. And in this case, ours was 1521, which is an indication of the 15th week of 2021 these tires were manufactured. Now, Busy Tire did a great job installing our tires. The guys were great, very friendly, great to work with. But we did have a little bit of a hiccup when we went in to pay and use our Togo RV code. Yeah, everything was going smooth up until then. They were pretty fast. They were letting us film from afar. We couldn't get too close. Um, but as soon as we went in, things took a turn. <laughs> um, unfortunately, the guy helping us out, and I'm sorry, I forgot his name. Mr. Derek. Mr. Derek, who did a great job, very friendly guy. He couldn't figure out how to make the code work. We were his very first Togo RV customers, and he'd never seen that code before. He was familiar with other codes that you guys might know about, but not this code. So it did take a while for us to get that straightened out, um, probably about an hour, I guess. Yeah, roughly. Yep. So, But as soon as that was straightened out, um, the next thing that happened was he printed out a receipt for us. And the thing to know about this receipt, seat is it had no prices on it which is really weird to hand your credit card over to someone and then give you a receipt with open prices yeah and walk out of there going okay thanks <laughs> um so it just the receipt basically gave us it was like a, a bill of sale without the sale portion it was itemized yeah, yeah. It just it gave us an itemized list of the tires the brand the valve stems the disposal fee all the fees that went along with putting on new tires so the way it works is Beasley Tire sent the information to Michelin. So Michelin will know everything Beasley did for us while we were at the tire shop. And then Michelin actually bills us. So we are paying Michelin, not Beasley. Michelin will give Beasley their cut of the bill. And that's when our second hiccup came into play. <laughs> yes, very Be much so. Because of the, the initial input from the tire shop to Michelin, um, there was a disconnect between uh, the tire shops, computers uploading and sending the correct information, Michelin not realizing this in the beginning. So we were showing two different prices in our account. One was for one amount and another one was for $400 more. And we had no idea what we were going to pay. And then at one time they both disappeared. So then we thought, eh, they're free. <laughs> Not really. They were still trying to figure out <laughs> yeah. how to correctly bill us. Yeah, there was a glitch in the computer system for sure. Now, the way it's supposed to happen is once you walk out of your tire store that placed your tires on for you, you should have a um, hold on your account for the amount plus 3% from the tire store. So they're estimating what the charges are gonna be. They're not gonna charge you. They're just gonna hold it until Michelin goes through and then they calculate the billing. The way Michelin calculates the billing is they give you the tire discount and then what they do is for all the other charges from your tire store, whether it be labor, balancing, valve stems, whatever it is, they will take a regional average. So if that average is exactly what your tire store will bill, well, that's what Michelin will bill you. If the regional average is more than what your tire, tire store will bill, well, you're going to pay more. Or if it's less than your tire store, you're actually going to end up paying less than what they would have billed you. So you're kind of in a spot where you're not really sure what you're going to get billed. It could work out well for you, or you may end up paying more than you expect. Yeah, so I know what you're thinking. Okay, Phil, Tell us where this lower region is. We want to get our tires installed there. We don't know. We didn't ask. So when we say regional averages, it is like city per city. We're in San Antonio, so they average out what most area or most tire stores will charge you. So that is your regional average. So um, let's actually do a side-by-side -side comparison for what if we walked into Beasley Tire and didn't have a discount code, what we would have been billed. And if we walked in using the code from Togo RV, what we actually paid. So we're just going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison so you can actually see the numbers. Now, do realize that this is a Michelin Advantage pricing. Togo has nothing to do with pricing. All they're doing is partnering with Michelin so they can provide you a discount. It is the exact same program that is used by FMCA, and FMCA also does not dictate the prices. So these are Michelin tire prices. So you'll see 
right away that the retail price at Beasley was only $522 and the retail price with Michelin is $589. So right away you'll see we didn't save as much as we thought. After the Michelin Advantage tire discount, the tires were $482 a piece which brought the grand total for Beasley Tire to $3,341 and the Michelin Advantage price was $3,104. So it looks like we saved $240 on our tires through the Michelin Advantage program. But hold up, remember all those extra charges we had to pay? Well, we paid the regional prices for those, not the Beasley prices. So Beasley Tire would have charged us $512 for all those other services and Michelin charged us $609. So you can see it cut into our savings by about a hundred bucks. So the total bill from Beasley would have been $3,853 and the total bill from Michelin is $3,713. So our huge Michelin discount ended up being $140. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, that's not a huge discount. However, a savings is a savings. That's and right. we did save $140. And hey, who knows what we can do with that $140? Bucks. That's tickets, that's brews, that's margaritas. I'm down or with ice that. cream. Oh, yes. yeah, well, that won't even touch Phil's ice cream budget. So when you hear people talking about, we saved five, $600 on our tires on social media, you don't necessarily know how many tires they have, the size of the tires, where they got them at, what region of, of the Michelin Advantage tire program they were in. So you gotta take those into consideration. We didn't know that until we ventured into using the Togo RV app. And also a lot of people just give you the tire straight from the Michelin Advantage app. They don't look at all the fees put in. So they may have actually had some of those charges put back and they might have also lost some of their savings. They just didn't realize it. True. So when you're going in to use your Michelin uh, discount, just know you have a 50-50 chance of getting your charges a little bit lower or a little bit more expensive. And there's no way to know that until Michelin comes back with your prices. How do you know what you actually spent? Good question, I thought you'd never ask. So under the Michelin Advantage program, they require you to call them about three days after the transaction has gone through to get your invoice on what you actually paid. If you've used the Michelin Advantage tire program or discount program, let us know in the comments below and include size of your tire, number of tires, and what part of the country you were in so we can kind of gauge where this region, this lower region might be. <laughs> yeah, let us know how much you saved because everybody's dying to know. The big things for the tires is savings because we all know how much tires cost. Now also, if you use the Togo RV Plus app to get your uh, savings, let us know how that experience was for you. Our friends over at Togo may be watching these comments this weekend and they really want to hear your feedback and how it went for you because they are always striving to improve their process. So let's talk about some of the process improvements that Togo RV has been making since we've been working with them and this Michelin discount. Mm -hmm. yep. So just know that um, Togo RV's motto is to simplify the RVing process and that includes with tire buying. One of the things we really like is Togo RV is working with Michelin to ensure all the Michelin tire shops know exactly how to use the Togo RV discount code. That's right. Say that 3,000 times. So you won't have the same hiccups we had like when we were at Beasley. Also, they've improved their screen on the, um, on the app. They have phone numbers and they have all the information you need to contact the Michelin Advantage program in case you have any questions at any time. We've really enjoyed working with Togo RV during yep. this process. So we've worked with them and gave them some feedback. And one of the things they really want to do is have automated receipts. So you no longer ha will have to call Michelin to get that receipt three or four days down the road. So hopefully that will be coming to you soon. Ruby's new shoes were put on just in time because next week we're out of San Antonio. Yes. We're hitting the road again and we're going to meet up with some friends, a few of which you might already know. I bet you do. So come back next Saturday to find out who we're meeting up with and which direction of travel we're headed. Hmm. And in the meantime, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and of course you can always find us at our website, todayisomeday.net, where you can find all kind of travel and RV info. As usual, thanks for hanging out with us. We really hope that this help, helps explain the Michelin Advantage Tire Program. That's a mouthful. Cue the bloopers. Oh, see, now it injected up. <laughs> we hope we don't have any more bloopers. That's okay. what we hope. So for these Michelin... 
is to slump up the love. Did this explain help? Uh, <laughs> God. I can't even talk today. No, I, can't. <laughs> that, I said Byring. Byring. Yeah. Is now. This helps. It. <laughs> Golly. Don't say a word. Right. If you cuss, I can't even put it for I said for the Michigan, Michigan. The Michigan tire people. Thanks for watching, because Phil can't say that part. I just said for him. Yeah. And with Tob Tob the Slimpify <laughs> it. The Slimpify. Yeah. Blah. Okay. Which. Blah. With Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. We're out of here. Right. Bye. We got a beautiful.